All right, so this is module two video. And let's see here, we are going to do this drawing here, number two, and this drawing here right now, number three. So I'm gonna start zooming in on this right here and we're gonna focus on this. So first what you wanna do is make sure that this icon right here, isometric drafting, isometric drafting is on. You just click it on. And now you can press F5 to cycle through the cursor style. Okay, and we're going to start with this drawing right here. So this is the top view. So it's looking at this circle. This section right here is this. This over here is this. And this is the side view. So this platform right here is basically that end. And this is that. So now I'm going to start drawing these circles here, just like the drawing. And I know right here that the large ellipse is 1. So I'm going to type EL for ellipse. Press Enter. Click on ISO circle here, or I can press I and press enter. Now I'm going to click, type 1, and press enter. 1, enter. Now the diameter inside is 3 quarters drill, so that's 0.75. So now I have to take 0.75 and divide it by 2. So 0.75 divided by 2 equals 3.75, okay? So 0.375 is this other one. So I'm going to press EL for ellipse, click ISO circle, click in the middle, and type 0.375. Since this set of circles over here is identical to this side, and the distance between this center of these radius circles and this is 3, I'm going to draw a line at 150 degrees from here over. So I'm going to press, press L, click in the middle of this, type 3, Shift and less than, 150, press enter. Now I'm going to press escape to get out of the line command. I'm going to drag a selection around these two circles right here. I'm going to right click, choose copy selection. I'm going to copy it from the middle, and I'm going to drag it to the end of the line. So now I can do the same thing on the bottom because this, the bottom is the same exact thing as the top except it doesn't need that circle there. So the thickness of this um, from this surface to the bottom is as you see right here 0.5 or 1 half. So what I can do is draw a line from the middle 0.5 shift and less than 270 to go straight down and now I can select this set of circles copy click from the middle and drag it to the middle of this line right here. So now I can press escape to get out of copy and I can delete the little tiny circles that I didn't mean to copy. And then I can delete this, I don't need that. So now what I'm gonna do is clean this up a bit so it's easier to see. I don't need these lines in there. So I'm gonna press TR for trim, I'm gonna press enter twice, one, two, and I'm gonna trim out the excess of this ellipse on the bottom stuff that I know I'm not going to need. And I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom in. Okay, now I need a, a smooth transition from the side down into this section of ellipse. So I'm going to press L for line, and I'm going to go over at 180 degrees. And I'm going to go straight down at 270 until it connects. Okay, so I'm going to press TR, enter, enter, Get rid of this line and get rid of that line. So that's a smooth transition there. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so I'm going to go over at zero and go down. Now I'm going to TR, enter, enter, and trim out what I don't need. So that's there. Now I need to do the same thing over here. So I need to transition the bottom. So I'm going to use the line tool. I'm going to go over at 210 degrees, and I'm going to go straight down at 270. Shift less than 270. Now I can delete this line here, activate the line tool, and I'm going to type 3, shift less than 150, press enter. So now it zooms right into this line here. So now I can TR, enter, enter, get rid of the lines I don't need. Press 
press enter, press escape I mean, delete these. Okay, now I've got the side ready to go, and I'm just going to copy this up to the top. So I'm going to select this, right-click, copy selection, and copy it up to this line that I've already made. And now I can TR, enter, enter, get rid of this stuff here. Okay, now I'm going to do the back end. So the angle from this circle with the back end is just 30 degrees. And then it goes straight over. And I'm going to press TR, enter, enter, and clear this stuff out. Amen. Okay, so that's the bottom. Now I need to put this section into the top. And I know that the distance from this section here, which I'm looking right here to there, which is to right here, is 1 and 1 eighth. 1 eighth as a decimal is 0.125, I believe. 0.125. Let's see. 0.125. So that would be 1.125 from this section here. And then it goes up 1 and 5 sixteenths from the bottom. So I need to draw this line again down. And I'm going this way 1.125 at 150 degrees. And now I'm going to go up in the air um, 1 and 5 sixteenths. But I need to know what 5 sixteenths is. So look up 5 sixteenths, 3, 1, 2, 5. So from this point over here, I'm going to go up 1.3125. 1 1.3125 at 90 degrees. And now from this point, I need to go over the radius of this whole thing is 1. So from this point to here is 1. So I'm going to press F5 to change my cursor, activate the line tool. Start on this line here to get in the middle, and it's 1, so it would be 1, shift less than 30, enter. And now I'm going to put the radius of this ellipse, which is 1. I'm going to type EO, press enter, type I for isometric, press enter, click here, press 1, enter. And now I'm going to put the little ellipse, which is the same as this, so that's 3.375, so I'm going to type EO, enter, I, enter. And then from this point, it's 0.375, enter. And now, the thickness of this is 0.75, three quarters. So from this point here, I'm going to go over 0 0.75, 0 0.75 at 150. And now I can copy this and th this. Right-click copy from this point right here over to where I drew that line at, which is right... here. I'm going to press escape. Now I'm going to trim off TR, enter, enter, the stuff I don't need. So that would be getting rid of this stuff. Okay. Now we need the transition over here, and we need the transition down. So I'm going to press escape to get out of trim. I'm going to press LI for line. I'm going to click on line. I know that this angle is uh, 30 degrees, so I'm going to type 1 at 30 degrees. Enter escape. Did that connect? It did. So now I'm going to draw a line straight down from here that intersects. And then I'm going to trim it after I draw a line from over here. So I'm going to click on this line right here and I'm going to draw over and I'm going to TR, enter, enter and I'm going to start clicking away the stuff I don't need. So press escape, control Z, I needed that line. So TR, enter, enter, get rid of this line. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of that, get rid of this. Get rid of that and this and now I need to transition the top. So I'm going to press escape, L for line, and I know that this angle right here is 60 degrees. So I'm going to type uh, 1.5 at 60 degrees, 1.5 at 60 degrees. Press escape, activate the line tool again, and then draw over 0.75 at 150 degrees. So 0.75, shift less than, 150, enter. And then I'm going to trim out what I don't need, TR, enter, enter, and trim this away. Trim that away, trim this away, 
and trim that away. So that one's done right there, and I'm going to move on to this drawing right here. So that is the side view, and that is the s side view. This is the front, I guess. This is this section right here, and this big section is this head right here. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to change my cursor to this angle, and now I'm just going to draw a line that's three, because I can see three right there. That makes sense to me. It's the center of this radius, center of that radius. So... I am going to start with a line, so I'll press L for line tool. I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to put in a line that's three. So three at shift less than 150 degrees. And now I'm going to put in this radius here. So the larger radius is the diameter from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom is 2.5. So half of that is 1.25. So I'm going to draw an ellipse, EL, enter, I for isometric, enter. And then 1.25 for the large circle, 1.25, enter. And the, the height of that is 2, so I'm going to draw a line up from the bottom. 2, so 2 at 90 degrees. Now I'm going to copy this. Right click, copy, copy from the middle. Up here, okay, so that is that. And now I'm going to transition the top to the bottom, so I'm going to press L for line, enter. And now I'm just going to go off at 180 degrees right here. I'm going to do and transition down and I'm going to do the same for this side over here so I'm going to press L again and I'm going to go off the same angle would be zero degrees and then I'm going to lock it in here and now I'm going to press T escape to get out of the line tool I'm going to press TR enter enter to get rid of what I don't need okay so Okay, so that is basically the head right here, and now I'm going to do this section right here. So the radius of this little handle is 1, so I'm going to press EL for ellipse, EL, I'm going to press I for isometric, and I'm going to put in that um, radius, so it's 1, 1, enter, and now the height of that is 1 and 3 sixteenths, you see right here, so this handle right here, this section is 1 and 3 sixteenths, so I need to find what 3 sixteenths is. It's 1875, so that would be 1.1875. So I'm going to activate the line tool. And 1.1875 at 90 degrees. And now I'm going to copy this ellipse up. Right click, copy from the middle, click there. And now I'm going to transition from the side. I know that it is at 0 degrees over here. So I'm going to trim out what I don't need, TR, enter, enter. And now I need to transition the bottom. So I'm going to activate the line tool, press escape to get out of trim. I'm going to go in the center of this, and that would be at 210 degrees. So I'm just going to, an arbitrary number, 2 at 210 So I'm going to draw a line down at 270 degrees from this point. So it would be 1.5 at 270. Okay, now I'm going to trim out stuff I don't need. So I'm going to trim this line. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need any of that. And I don't need this. Press escape. All right, and now I'm going to transition this into that line. So I know that somewhere the line is in between, is a little bit shorter than three, but right now I don't care, so I'm just going to draw a line at three, so from this section here. So activate the line tool, and then I'm going to draw a line that's three at 150. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing up here. So I'm going to copy the selection from the bottom to the top, and then I need it over here as well. So I'm going to draw a line that is 30 degrees from here. So that would be 1.5 at 30 degrees. And I'm going to copy this line over. So copy selection. Move over to this line here. I'm going to trim out what I don't need. TR, enter, enter. I know I don't need that. No, I don't need that. I'm going to need this for a second. Okay, and I don't need this. And I don't need that. And I don't need this. 
So what I need to do now is have the transition here that's circular. Okay, since I know the height is 1 and 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths is 1875. So what I'm going to do is go to the bottom of this large ellipse, which is right here, and I'm going to go up 1.1875 at 90 degrees, and I'm going to copy this ellipse right here from the middle. And where it intersects with this line right here is where it should go straight down. So I'm going to press escape, activate the line tool, start here, log in here, and I'm going to start trimming this out. So TR, enter, enter, and I'm going to clear out the stuff that I don't need, like this, get rid of that, get rid of, get rid of this, get rid of this. See you, everybody. Get rid of that. See you, everybody. Get rid of this. Get rid of that, and then that is that drawing right there. So the bell rang, and I'm going to end this drawing right now. So you should have this. And